Hey, how you doing? It's John Scholes from Q107 here. Wow, 40 years. Um, trying to narrow down a couple stories or one story is tough. Um, it's, it's amazing. It's been almost half the life of the radio station that I've been working here, so so many things have happened. I think if I got to choose one, it would be the not once but twice, uh, the little Steven from Bruce Springsteen's E Street Band came by the studio. It was a simple phone call. Uh, it was the last two times that Bruce was in town touring and uh, we simply phoned little Steven's people, said would he want to come by and hang out with us for a little bit. A couple hours, maybe a half hour, and just talk a little bit on the air. He said yes, didn't take any prodding whatsoever. So about an hour later, a black SUV comes up, just one car, out walks little Steven with the full gear on. He's got two duffel bags full of CDs. We didn't know he was gonna bring this. He walks in studio, drops the CDs, pulls out a pen and paper, says, all right, what are we doing? And he sat there for six hours and played radio like a champ. Chose all the tunes, did all the back sells, talked about the music, talked about, at that time, Little Steven's Underground Garage, and what radio meant to him and his passion for radio. He did it once, the next time they came back on tour, he did it again. One phone call and he came. Just with two duffel bags, no entourage, none of this don't look me straight in the eyes, none of that crap, just came by, understood everything about the radio station, knows how important radio is, and he sat here for six hours twice, 12 hours total, and just played radio with the Q107, it was amazing, it was fantastic.